Okay, so today we're going to be showing you one of the most super prime properties in all of Mayfair. It's flat 95 at Arlington House. It's an eight floor duplex, four bedroom. And this is um, as we come in through the front entrance. Now, due to the fact that this flat is 4,000 square feet, this is probably gonna be more of a highlighted tour than extended tour due to the sheer size of the flat. But um, here's our sort of entrance way in front of us. You see the lifts here. I'm gonna come in through the front door. And we're gonna get a taste of pure luxury. So you just come in through here, you've got nice entrance hallway, the water, water feature running there. Those are your steps that lead up to the second level. I'm gonna follow around to the right where, as you can see, it is very, very expansive in terms of the living area. As you can see, AC vents everywhere. So you have no concerns about getting too hot in the summer. And this leads through into even more sort of reception space. Uh, we've got the kitchen through there, which I'll lead to in a second. And if I make it all the way through, there's yet another kind of um, conservatory style living room um, due to the, the skylight that you've got here. You come out of this one and it comes out onto one of the two terraces that we've got at the property, um, which is simply remarkable. This is facing directly west, looking out over Hyde Park. As you can see Victoria quite clearly to your left there. And you can see Vauxhall and all those developed areas around there as well. And uh, Prime Mayfair straight ahead of you there. So that's the first of our two terraces. Coming back inside the flat, we're going to make our way round. I'm now going to head towards, back around towards the kitchen bit. So round here we have a kitchen, sort of an island bar going on here. So you can sit up and eat at the kitchen. Coming round, you have sort of the main part of your kitchen. Again, all in splendid condition. Uh, you've got a gas stove there. And then it quite conveniently leads through to what you could, I mean, you can shut this door here and this will quite conveniently lead through to um, accommodation for a, you know, a maid or member of staff. Um, there is a little guest WC here. Actually, it's a shower unit. And there is also a little maid's room in the back here. You can see you've got a little desk there. And a nice little bed, even with TV. So perfect for a member of staff or even a fleeting guest. But conveniently, it's out the back of the kitchen. So coming back out of the kitchen, I'm going to just walk you back through the same living room that I just walked you through. There's so much space in here, I can hear my voice echoing. Now I'm going to lead you through to the sort of study part. As you can see, you've got a nice desk here. As the world moves towards working from home, this could prove more and more invaluable. It's really not a bad view out of your office window. Uh, the idea here is that you can um, close off. So we can pull this along and we can close off our study space from the rest of the flat. So now we have an independent study. I'll just reopen that and it slides very neatly back across to open the thing up again. Now, coming out of the study, as you can see, I've basically just led us back round to where the front door was. So when I initially came in, I went off to the right, round here. Now we're just going the same way to the left. As you can see, we've got cupboards here, your guest WC there. That was the door into the study that I was showing you. Now, here is one of your guest bedrooms. It's not just your average guest bedroom, though. Um, I haven't seen too many quite like this one. 
um, that come with their own sofa. Beautifully made bed. Acres of room, television installed, AC in immaculate condition with its own balcony. Again, with similar views. It also has quite a lot of space back here as well. A big walk-in wardrobe. Some further shelving. And a ensuite shower unit, which again, it looks extremely new to me and is excessive in space. So now the next thing to do is head up the magic stairs towards our bedrooms. So you see we've got the water feature trickling nicely here as I make my way up. Um, not too many stairs to contend with. It's really not a big deal. So as we come up here, we've essentially a couple of bedrooms. I'm gonna go into this one first, which is just the one to my left. As you can see, it's all done up palatial style. 